You know in a few years these boys will be very important. You got quite a posh name. Miles, are you? Posh. The Riot Club. The Riot Club. Hundreds of years of the best and the brightest. Over here we have a portrait of. Sir, you can't go through there. Oh, you're in. I'm so sorry. Not just offering you a club, I'm offering you a future. It's our time, gentlemen. The Riot Club is an adaptation of your place, uh, Posh, uh, which deals with a dining club at Oxford. Uh, how was this project started? Uh, it was originally a play, and it started as wanting to write something about young, wealthy people. Um, and I heard about these dining societies, and I was just really interested in the idea that um, there could be a club whose, uh, whose main uh, activity was to have a huge dinner and get dressed up in these old-fashioned tailcoats and um, get roaring drunk and destroy the restaurant at the end of the night and then pay for the damage on the way out with a large pile of cash. Um, it, I was fascinated by that as a situation. I thought, how does that work? How do people do that? Um, and then it felt for me like if I wanted to know about it, then maybe the audience would also want to know about it. So it started as, as an investigation of that, really. And then uh, when it was supposed to be a film, could you, could you tell us about that, that project as well? Yeah, it, um, it was picked up by a producer who'd read the script and, um, and thought it would make a good film. Uh, and I was invited to be the screenwriter for it. And it was about trying to find a way to tell the, the same story, but in a very different form. Uh, and, and writing the film was very exciting because we could draw the characters out from the one room that we see them in, in the play, uh, to, to see them in lots of different situations and um, to kind of tell the story in a different visual form, I suppose. And in, in becoming a film, it becomes somehow more intense, more extreme, um, and, um, and hopefully a, a really entertaining ride. Yeah. Um, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, the the play is uh, is uh, only taking place in the pub. In one room. Yeah, yeah. in one room. While while the film is chronicling uh, a long period of time before yes. the actual dinner. Uh, yes. what, what what was it that you found interesting in in that? In that uh, story. Yeah. Well, it felt like to just do it in one room for the film would f would make it feel like a play on screen, and I really wanted it to feel like a film. So it was a, about kind of being able to see those characters outside of that dinner um, and understand what their lives were like when they first started college, for example, um, and what the rest of their time at college was like, and fun things like being able to drive around in a in an open-top car with them in the middle of the night that you could never do on stage, you know, that, um, that adds so much kind of colour and texture to their story and lets us know a lot more about the characters and how they live and who they are. Um, and equally, at the end of the story, to be able to follow them right through to the conclusion of what, of what happens on the night of the dinner uh, and, and see how they all deal with it. So it, it felt like there were lots of opportunities uh, to, to really enliven the story when turning it into a film. We really shouldn't be doing this. We're at the top university in the world, and so are 20,000 other people. But there are no more than 10 in the Riot Club. Are you sure you want to be in this thing? These people are not your friends. They don't know when to stop. It's time for you to leave. Were you afraid of, of giving the audience uh, too many chances to sympathize with the characters? Because in some way, they're, they're bastards in a way, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I think what's important is that we should feel as an audience interested in them and want to go inside that room with them, the room where the dinner happens, because 
most of us would never get invited to that. Um, I wouldn't because I'm a woman for a start and, and also coming from a very different class background. Um, and I think it feels important for us to uh, uh, like them or want to find out about them, want to be with them as an audience member. And then when things go wrong and we see them behave very badly, then in a way we're partly responsible, I suppose, because we wanted to be there. Uh, someone says to one of the characters in the film, you know, you, you wanted to be here, you wanted to join the club. Um, and I think it should feel a little bit like that for the audience. So it was quite important for me that we could sympathise with the boys at the beginning and that we could have a kind of complicated relationship with them as characters because I think that feels to me closer to what happens in real life. Yeah. Uh, I suppose that you, that you knew uh, Sherfig's, the director's work before yes. production. Yes. Uh, could you tell, tell us about yeah, I, work, um, your opinions about it? I'd seen several of Lona's films and, um, and Education um, is one of my favourites. And um, actually the, the producer of the Riot Club said to me one day, when we were working on early versions of the script, said, who would you like to be the director of this? If you could choose any director, who would you have? And I said, Lona Scherfig. Um, and then we got her, which was amazing. So um, I, I, was really, um, I was really delighted. And I think it really helped, actually, to have uh, a director who was both a woman and also not British. I think the fact that she was Danish really helped um, because she was able to to look at British culture from from a bit more of a distance. Actually, I think that was good. Yeah. What would you say are the main differences between writing for stage and writing for for cinema? Um, I think language works very differently between the two things. I think it, on on the stage, language has a much more key role. I think, like, you know, in a, in a play, when someone does something, some, when a, um, how to put this, um, when characters act on each other in a play, they, they tend to do it through language. So you persuade someone through language. Uh, whereas in a film, it, it's much more visual or uh, physical. Um, so, um, in, in film it's about kind of reining in the, the language and, and boiling it down so that it's really kind of intense but shorter. Um, you don't get people doing those great long speeches like, that, that are like arias in a play. You don't really get that in films. Um, so, I, I, kind of, I kind of enjoy that difference. Uh, okay, I have a, another last question. The theme of this year's festival is hope. Uh, could you perhaps elaborate on, on how your film could relate to this grand theme, perhaps? Um, well, I hope it doesn't leave people feeling completely hopeless. Um, and I suppose I hope people really enjoy it as an entertainment, that, um, that it should be, uh, I hope, funny and, and enjoyable uh, to watch, um, as well as being thought-provoking at the end. And uh, I hope that it will have some relation to Swedish society in the way that it, um, it discusses British culture as well. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Oops. <laughs> I need your help. Ambulance, please. Something's happened. Could have just been a mistake. People like us don't make mistakes. Death of poor people! Yeah. I didn't do this. Right. It's the club, right? We all did this.